Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Okami HD, episode 33. I'm your host, Ultimate Director Jester. Yeah, well, anyway. This is our last part of Oni Island. We're going to be taking care of the rest of it today. To start off, we'll grab this chest. Wasting no time. And now we have the map. Oh, goody. Finally. I don't know why we need it right now. I don't know exactly where to go. First, we're gonna head upstairs. This is why we need the key, obviously. Seems pretty straightforward so far. No curveballs yet. Whoa! There's a curve right there. Damn it. What the hell is this thing? Broken is what it is. These two things back here? Well, anyway, moving on. The game wants to tell you what's coming ahead, I guess. Just so we're ahead. We're clear, I guess. This is a little bit of a tricky jump. I guess not. I thought this didn't go all the way back, but... This is a bit of a tricky jump. Sort of. Over here we got another chest. And a vengeance slip. Works well. And now we got those annoying uh, pendulum spiders, whatever they're called. Whatever, those spiders that are assholes, you need the veil of mist to slow down. Another curveball. What do we do here? It's very, very complicated. You just drop the key. And you get a pearl. Then we have another key right here. And somehow, the electric key has wound up back into my jaw. Very strange. I'm not gonna fool me again. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> oh, he knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. Oh yeah! Jamming a key in your eye! I think I can go back and grab that electric key if I want to. I thought it was still here. I guess it's gone now. Oh well. Don't think we need it, because now we're heading forward. Haha! No. Oh. oh, we have another do we have another Toby race instead. I don't care. Alright. Don't think we... Well, we might need the key for this. Might run have to run back and go get that. Gonna do so. Double jump. Yep. And I'll vine right over. Hey! Douche. We can just pick up another. Ow! What? We can just pick up another key from there. I don't think there's really anything in these sliding doors, just one of these things. There's a couple of guardians getting uppity. I think I can take them out. Yeah. Dang it, that wouldn't net either, huh? Oh, I'll try it on him. Huh, not him either. I'm trying to get demon fangs. It's 
kind of need them for later. Not right now, but later. Well, now that I have an electric key in my jaws, now we can move on. Shit. Now we're ready to take on Toby and his little race. His deceptive little race. Get a running start. Head on over. Follow the coins. Dash shit! Always follow the coins. Oh, don't you dare run ahead of me, dude. Not happening, dude. You are not running ahead of me. You're not gonna win this race. Watch out for that. For the spikes! Oh, ho! I have no idea how I won that, but I did. Wow. A little leaning on the rules, aren't you? Ow! That's not nice. Something must be behind here. Not really. What's with all these pointless traps? Ah! Alright, a couple of ogres. The red and blue ogres. They should appear again for another rematch. Luckily, though, with the Veil of Mist and the Seven Sword, or any glaive really equipped, you can make quick work of them. And I love it when they bunch up together because you can take them both at the same time if, you're, if they're not careful. This mask is up so I can take them out whenever I want to. His mask. Thought I could. Oh wait! Aha! That's right, using Thunderbolt on these guys will get you four demon fangs. I'm gonna take them out just the old fashioned way, I suppose. Alright, there's my there it is. Right over to him. Boom! That was eight demon fangs in that one encounter from two enemies. It's always important to use floral finishers to your bed. Okay, where am I? I've lost my bearings. Which way was... Was this the way I was supposed to come? Yeah, this is the other way. The other way had, the, had that line of bamboo spikes. Still have our electric, electric key. Make our way over safely. Looking good. That's not looking good, though. That's why I like uh, Thundershot compared to Catwalk because Catwalk, its its puzzles doesn't have <clears throat> doesn't have very many variations. Because the variation here is like, oh hey, you get to use it down now. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. didn't think about that, did you? A little bit tricky to make it through that gap, though. But in terms of uh, real fun stuff here, we have a spider here, we got a chest there, we have our electric key here, so we have to use a total of three brush techniques to get this. Now, a specific way to use this catwalk technique. Kind of make a bit of a dip, like that on the wall. And then after that, oop, like that, we'll do our Veil of Mist. Just slow that guy down. And I'll wind up, up like like that. Shit. Too many brush techniques for the game to keep track of. And that gives us a pearl. Then we can just drop down from here. Don't really think there's any way to get back up there. Unless if you uh, mess up a little bit later on. Jeez, Jeez camera, come on! Alright, put on Veil of Mist somewhere back here so you can give yourself plenty of time to get it through the fort of Spider does. And we have, uh, guess what, another bloody freaking encounter here. Pretty easy to handle though. I really don't remember what their floor finishers were. Probably something done like Power Slash. <laughs> Guess not. 
Oh well. We'll have plenty of opportunities to get to get Demon Fangs later, so if you haven't collected any now, it's it's okay still. So. We haven't even collected the move that gets us a lot of Demon Fangs yet. We'll probably get that probably next episode. Let's focus on the task at hand. Then the next roadblock. Uh. Remember Blockhead from uh, the Sutha Ruins? Well, instead of two weak points, this guy has five. Uh, it's really difficult to do sometimes. I keep forgetting most of the way through. Shit! His rocks don't hurt you, but this is just a really, really annoying ass part right now. You gotta be exact. You gotta be precise. It's right there, there. And if you get it wrong so many times, it soon will yell at you. Yeah, I think it was right there, there, and there. Shit. What also sucks is that the perspective skews a little bit. So you're not exact when you're... It's, it's, it's just all sorts of messed up. But let's just skip ahead to where I actually get it. That was spot on! Are you kidding me? Finally! It's just luck. Sometimes we get lucky and we get an easy pattern, but it's just difficult sometimes. And now we're at the final Toby race. Well, the first thing we should do is bum up in that portal. That just seems kind of crucial, because now we have a means to get over there. This might be tricky, though, because if you mess this up, if you fall at any point down in there, you have to backtrack all the way back up here. It really, really sucks. So let's get a running start, and off we go! Let's see. Sometimes a vine can be a little... Hazardous! Oh shit! Ah! The vine is useless! Ah! I think you're better off just jumping it. Shit! I guess I gotta jump at the right time too, that would probably help a lot more. All right, third time's charm, go. Fuck. Third time's charm, whoever says that bullshit. It's fourth time that works, here we go. T 
told you. You gotta keep your momentum going. But Amy's a girl. You know, it's kind of too bad that Toby never had like a one-liner for whenever he would like race or something like that. Because I think a perfect one for him would be, let her rip. Ha ha ha! See, rip Toby. Even the game knew. Ha 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 ha! Let's continue on. One more origin mirror, but I think we can take the Dark Lord in the time we have left. Oh yeah. You think the Dark Lord's, you know, supposed to be evil? No! He's easy! He's one of the easiest bosses, holy fuck! He is the easiest boss, probably in the entire game. At least of the major villains. Oh man, you're gonna feel silly forever fearing this guy in the first place. Fuck yeah, I'm ready! I can take his pansy ass any day. Let's go for it, man. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Um... Okay. unusual about that. No siree. This is, this is totally normal thing that occurs. Does he think he's clever for doing that?
They're not false. We actually see them. Whatever. He's the most false one here. Hypocritical idiot. Shut up. You're just, you're just scared because we found you. Well, uh, this is a little bit of a different fight because uh, you can't just hold on your brush techniques forever because he will go and uh, do one of his own. And it actually really, really hurts. So, pro strats, don't attack him at all. In fact, don't even get near him. Don't even, don't even touch him. I don't even want to be near you. Ew, 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 ew. But he's going to do his thing. He's going to throw his shit around. I, I think that's what that is. Doesn't look good. Ew. When that happens, time to strike. That's the dumbest thing you could do. He is literally saying, Please strike my stupid ass with lightning. And once that happens, his uh, little sword splits up, I suppose. And then they all rush you, and uh, they're gonna go, Oh, jeez, they're getting up on me, and oh, wait a minute, I got these things called, uh, hey, you're gonna love these, these are called uh, exorcism slips. What they do is, oh yeah, they kill you guys instantly. Well, almost instantly. This one, uh, this fat one, took a bit of a blow. And, uh, that's wave one. But now he starts doing the same thing over and over again. I have to use a holy bone for this one. No problems! Yunk! Can I see your sword again, dude? Your sword's actually kinda cool. You can see how far you are to killing him, with how many tails he has left. See, he had nine, now he's got, like, five left. Ha. Come on, let me see that sword, big guy. You wanna show me- Oh, there it is. There's that sword. Ha! Idiot! Fucking idiot. Now we got some more people here, so we can gather them all up in a group. And... Let that shit fly. Let me see I can get... I think I can get that thing. Nah, that thing is invulnerable. But that old guy over there... See him right there? And you don't see him anymore because he's dead. So now he's just a fox with a missing eye. He's just some dirty old fox with a pretty sword. You missed me, idiot. Now we can start wailing on him. In fact, I'm gonna make this even more humiliating. I'm gonna slow down time and kick his ass. I don't even care. This is just so freaking embarrassing for him. It has to be. I don't think the dark. I don't think this is uh, the true dark board at all. I think this is just some asshole who thought that he could rule the world. Oh, that's not good. I better use an infinity stone. Cause yeah, oh yeah, I have those. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. My sword's better than yours. So I can sail across the room with it. Right into your face. Take out your other eye. Ha <laughs> ha Oh yeah, that's cute. Well, watch this. And... Oop, I guess... Goodbye! Shit. I was trying to be cooler than I thought I was. Whatever, fuck it. Just die. I don't even want to see you no more. What a pushover! What a fucking pushover, right? I mean, jeez. Okay. <laughs> that, we froze for a second. The Blade of Kusanagi is actually a very, very, very good weapon.
I don't think she heard you, dude. That's a nice bonus. I would say so. <laughs> well, I think we can uh, close things off for here. The next place we need to go to is the far north. But we still have a lot of things to take care of down here towards uh, Seon City and the coast. And man, there's a lot of stray beads we still have to get still. This season isn't quite over, so we'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD.